Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will explain lip split approach to the mandible. The use of a lip splitting incision ABC with a lateral extension into the neck incision allows for the elevation of a cheek flap and exposure of the hemimandible. The most common form of lip split utilizes a stair step incision across the vermilion and a zigzag incision through the mentum used to best camouflage the scar. When a straight line is used instead of a zigzag, a tethering scar of the mentum will occur. Occasionally, the circummental incision may cause atrophy of the mental muscle with subsequent asymmetry. The patient is placed supine with a small shoulder roll at the level of the scapula in order to extend the neck. The patient is prepared in the normal fashion and uh, local anesthetic with a vasoconstrictor is infiltrated in the proposed incision line. In order to ensure a safe airway in the perioperative period and unhindered access to the oral cavity, a tracheostomy is performed prior to extensive surgical manipulation in the oral cavity. Alternatively, a prolonged nasoendotracheal intubation may be performed to avoid a tracheostomy. The vermilion border is marked using the back of a 15 blade and a surgical marking ink to aid in the precise reapproximation of the vermilion border during closure. A full thickness incision through the lip chin complex is performed using one of the patterns outlined in the previous slide. The cut edges of the inferior labial arteries are cauterized. The incision is extended below the mentum into a mid-neck crease. The incision is carried through skin and platysma muscle. The skin flap is raised superiorly in a subplatysmal plane until the submandibular fascia is encountered. This is incised and elevated to the inferior border of the mandible, protecting the marginal branch of the facial nerve. Frequently, a resection of an oral carcinoma will be accompanied by a neck dissection. This is commonly performed prior to the resection of the primary oral cavity tumor. When the oral carcinoma extends beyond the midline or when uh, the lymphatic drainage is bilateral to the contralateral neck, bilateral neck dissections are performed. In these cases, rather than a lip split incision, a lower facial degloving approach that is visor flap may be selected. This approach combines a mid neck apron incision with a gingival buccal incision. Intraorally, the incision can be carried straight posteriorly to the gingival buccal sulcus and then laterally within the sulcus approximately 5 mm from the gingival margin as far as needed to provide an adequate exposure of the mandible. Subperiosteal dissection is uh, carried directly to the mandible and the flaps are elevated to expose the epsilateral mental nerve which might have to be sacrificed depending on the location of the tumor and the extent of the mandibulectomy. Dissection is carried posteriorly to the angle of the mandible or as far as needed to provide access for the oncological resection and placement of a mandibular reconstruction plate when indicated. The cheek flap is subsequently held in place with self-retaining retractors, for example, dural hooks. The mandible should be exposed far enough to allow for the placement of a mandibular reconstruction plate 
beyond the resected edge on the distal segment. This may require elevation of a mucoperiosteal flap to the level of the contralateral mental nerve. Every effort should be made to preserve the contralateral mental nerve. If tumor crosses the midline, this may not be possible. Thank you. Have a nice time.